What's up, my LS Crazed Amigos? It's your boy Terry speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more big bang for the buck product info and a restoration tips and engine setting up tips. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? How you doing? Check this out. Okay, now, you know, I posted recently that, you know, I came across an LY6. You know, this is my, uh, my buddy Oscar. He uh, works in the junkyard and he came across one. And he knew I wanted one because that's, you know, as everyone knows, the LY6 is my favorite engine. LS engine, Ellis family engine, and he came across this engine. I call it Hawthorne. Now, I'm not going to mess with this thing just yet. I'm not going to take it apart because there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm not going to use. And um, I'm going to put it in that corner and let it marinate until after the body work is done on my 67 Chevelle because this is going to be in this car. This is going for this car. But so I'm going to wait and um, just going to ask a couple of questions. You know, uh, well, actually, a question that. Um, uh, once again, another, a subscriber asked, um, and a lot of subscribers have been asking this question because I, you know, I guess I say it a lot in my videos that the LY6 is my favorite LS engine, and a couple subscribers want to know why. Okay, uh, I can explain to you very simple. You know, like I said, the LY6 I have it in my '71 Chevelle, and the reason I like the LY6 is I tell you what, let's do it this way. Let's list all the LS engines. Okay. Off of my head, I may forget two, I may forget one or two, so forgive me, please. Okay, so let's go. You got your 4.8, you got your 5.3, you got your LS1, you got your LS6, then you got your LS2, and then you got your LS, your LY, your LQ engines like the LQ9, LQ4, then you got your LY6, and then you got your LS3, and then you got your LS7, and you got your LS9, which is an LS3 with a supercharger. All right, so. I always say the LY6 is the biggest bang for the buck, and I explain to you why. All right, so immediately, if you're looking for an engine, you know, in the budget build, you got to take out the LS7 the LS and the LS9 because you're not touching those engines even used for under nine grand, you know, because the LS7 is like a big block and the LQ9 has a supercharger on it. So you're not touching those engines for under under nine grand, you know, maybe eight if you're lucky, not, but I don't, I think under nine grand even used. New, forget it. So right. me, I love uh, a 6.0. So for me, that eliminates the 4.8, the 5.3, the LS1, the LS, the LS6. And so now what you have left is the LS2 and you have uh, the LQ4s. Now, this is also on a budget. So if you're on a budget, there's nothing wrong with one of those uh, 4.8s or 5.3s are either L, L, LS1s or LS6. LS6 is a bad engine. When I say bad, I mean it's an awesome engine. You know, it's a 5.7. So it's a 350, same with the LS1. And uh, some people like to say that the LS, the 5.3 is like a 327 cubic inch. So, you know, whatever. You know, it could be true. I never really dealt with that because I always like the 6.0. I'm a 6.0 man. Because, you know, like you get bigger displacement, you get more displacement, and with 6.0, you, you have the capability to get more compression. All right, so back to what I was saying. So now what you have left are the LQ engines and the LY6 and um, the LS2. Now, the LS2 is an all aluminum block, all right? So for the budget and plus the LS2, you're not touching the LS2 used for under four grand. So, I mean, I'll, in my 69 Camaro, I do have an LS because I had I got a deal on the on the transmission, six speed transmission and the engine. And this is a long time ago. So this is before the person knew what they had. And I, I took advantage. I, I, hey, I thought it was a fair deal. He thought it was a fair deal. We both left happy. So I do have an LS. Uh, LS2 and that's 69 Camaro and it's a ripper. It screams. It's a beautiful engine. All right, but it's all aluminum and even now, you know, it's, they stopped making LS2s. I think back in I'm not sure what year, but it's been a long time. I think the LS2 came out in, in 2006. The LS2 came out, or is it 2005? In the GTO, stopped making the GTO in 2006, but they kept on putting the LS2 in Corvettes. I'm talking to myself, so please excuse me. Uh, so yeah, so but you know, they went to the LS3 in I forgot what year, but even still. LS2s are hard to come by, and they're rare, along with the LS6s, and they're rippers, but like I said, the LS2, you're not going to touch that for under, I, I can't see it, I even use 3500 four grand. So if you want that, understand you're going to pay that much money for that engine, maybe more. So now what's left is the LQ4, the LQ9, 
and the LY6. All of those blocks are 6.0s and all of them have aluminum heads. The reason I like the LY6 is because it's 6.0 and it has aluminum heads, but they're, they're, uh, but they're heads off of LS3. They're 823 number head, so that's an LS3 head. And so that means that this engine, out the box, is making 385 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque. Now, they're all about the same amount of money. You know, like you're gonna, when you get one of those LS, LQ, L4s, or either uh, um, LY6, you're gonna spend probably somewhere in the neighborhood of, I would say, high mileage one, 1,500, to anywhere from three grand. All right, depending on a low mileage one and how condi what kind of condition it is. You know, I got this for, I wasn't ready to buy an engine, but like I said, my friend Oscar came across one, so I had to jump because it was just too good of a deal. Now, the plan with this engine is I'm going to take it apart, and I can even sell the truck intake because you truck guys like these truck intakes because they're, they're, they, they, they're very, you know, they're very torquey, you know. So I can sell the truck intake, the throttle body, all that stuff, all stuff that I'm not going to use. So right there, I got my money back almost, <laughs> you know. And um, and what I'm going to do to plan for this is I'm going to slap one of those LSA blowers on it, and it's going to make more compression. It's going sorry, it's going to make more boost with the LSA on this engine than it does the LS3 because the LS3 is a 6.2. This is 6.0, so the cylinder is a little bit smaller, so it's going to make more boost, which is good. So for the biggest bang of the buck, you can't beat an LY6. So if you can find one. I say get it. Now, when I rip this engine apart, if it doesn't look right, you know, if it doesn't look right, I'm going to take it to a machine shop and 408. Yeah, it could be a 408. But once I take it apart, I'm going to flip it upside down and uh, look and see what kind of condition, you know, like if I need rings or anything like that, what's called uh, bearings or anything. So uh, see how clean the engine, the oil is and the cylinder walls. And if it looks clean, I'm going to slap a cam back in this thing, throw an LSA blower on it, and be done with it. Because I have seen LS engines with, I've seen LS engines with 20,000 miles on them, you know, looking horrible, needing to be redone. But then I've seen LS engines with 300,000 miles on it, they look baby fresh. So that is the reason why I particularly like this particular engine, the LY6 6.0, 385 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque. And that's without a cam swap. You throw a cam at this thing, you, you know, numbers, the sky's the limit with this. And along with any other LS engine. But, I mean, for the biggest bang for the buck, when you got, like, a, a line of engines that you can get for either $1,000 or $3,000 when you're on a budget, you're better off trying to get a, you know, LS, uh, LY6. You know, it's, it's a smart thing to do. All right, so that's the reason why I like them. And looking at the clock on the wall, it's time for me to head on out. And uh, do some more work to the 67 Chevelle because um, I want to put this thing in there. So I'm not going to touch it until after the body work is done. So, yes, I, I said that before. I don't want to keep that. <laughs> all right. So, please, as always, be easy. Thank you for all the emails, the caring, the love that you've been showing. And I really appreciate it. And I will get back to all the emails, if I, you know, like as soon as I can. All right. But until we see each other again, always be easy. And I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care, everyone.